Hey there awesome people, I hope you guys are doing great. So this is your Vibro from Filmora Made Easy. And today in this video, uh, this is an updated video to be honest. Uh, we'll be fixing, we'll be trying to troubleshoot playback issues on Filmora 14 as you're watching Filmora Made Easy. So if this is the first time you're watching our channel, then please do consider subscribing to my channel as I make videos related to Filmora as this is, like I said, Filmora Made Easy. All right, so uh, once what you need to do here first and foremost thing is to run Wondershare Filmora 14 on your computer. So I'll just double click on it and then I will select one of my um, existing project that I created uh, for this YouTube channel, which is the YouTube upload hack. So I'll be opening up that project file for this, um, you know, video a purpose. Now, as, uh, the, as soon as this project window has come up, the first uh, thing that you need to do to fix your playback issue is to go to help and then click on check for update. Now, this will make sure that you have the latest and the greatest version of Wondershare Filmora because the most updated um, you know, version of Filmora has many bug fixes and also performance improvement that helps you to get amazing performance or the utmost performance that you can get from your um, you know, computer as well as from F Filmora. So make sure you check for update and then make sure that you are on the latest um, version of Filmora that is currently available right now. So that's the number one. Second thing that you need to do is just go to the um, file section, file menu of uh, Wondershare Filmora and then go to preferences. Once you go there, uh, you will get this preferences um, screen. I want you to go to performance and then make sure enable hardware acceleration for video rendering and playback is enabled and enable hardware acceleration for video decoding. Both of these options should be enabled and then click on the drop down menu of select graphics card in use and select your dedicated graphics card for you. Uh, you might have two because one is the integrated graphics card and the second is the um, you know dedicated graphics card for my system I have a dedicated graphics card so I'll select it and then you can enable render, uh, background render uh, if you want but hey it is not that much important so make sure all of these settings are turned on but if you don't see your graphics card over here then click on the start button beside GPU check this will um, you know do a process where Filmora will search for your system and then get the uh, correct information about your graphics card once you uh, click on this uh, you know option there you will see your graphics card available right now so you can go ahead and select it once you do that, click on apply and then you might need to restart your uh, Filmora because, you know, the, pro you know, the effects takes time and also it takes um, some processors and because of that, you need to reboot uh, Wondershare Filmora. So you just close it and reopen it again. That's pretty much it. All right. So the third thing that you need to do while um, facing a playback error, for example, for this video, if you can see um, at this region, I am getting a bit of a frame drop. As you can see, my uh, you know voiceover or my face, there is a bit of lag. If you can see, in order to uh, you know fix this, what you need to do is just go ahead to the player section, click on the full player, um, you know player quality a drop down menu and select maybe half or maybe quarter maybe one by fourth of the quality just select that and then you will notice that when playing the video the quality of the video in the playback section is not that great but don't worry once you export the video it will be just as great as possible so it is just for the preview window right here it just uh, reduces the quality so that the playback is much smoother for older um, or for weak system or maybe if you have a multiple layered um, timeline for example like me i have one two three four and five six layers so that's why i'm getting a bit of lag so if that's the case with you then even you can go ahead and reduce the quality of the player it will help you in um quality or the playback of the um video in the timeline 
All right, so the fourth thing that we are discussing about today is the render preview button. For example, if you're um, playing, if you are seeing that the video is lagging a lot, what you can do here is just go to this button right here, which says render preview. You just click on it and then Wondershare Filmora will create a smooth playback. It will render the preview of the whole track or the whole timeline so that you can guess, just go ahead and edit it further this is great you know um trust me because when you are adding multiple layers while you're editing the video um, this uh, render preview option or the feature in filmora helps you to um, you know add more and more layer once you add another layer just click on it add another layer just click on it for example uh, for my case i can see that when i'm in any other layer where i have one two three four and five layers of video then i don't have any issue even when i'm playing in full quality as you can see it is just playing back with no problem but when i add the subscribe overlay over in my video then i can see a bit laggy performance as you can see right there so i have a quick tip for you for this area where i have uh, or maybe the area where you get choppy performance what i want you to do is just um, expand it and select the region where you get the legs just give it a cut all right i'll do it right here as well i'll just zoom it again select it and give it a cut all right once we are done what we'll do is just select everything else and then press the delete button don't worry about it <laughs> it's a trial and tested method and also select it and tap the delete button we are just selecting the area where we get the playback issue all right once you do that click on the render preview button all right, it will just take a quick moment of time because there are less frames so the um, you know rendering time will also be less so once the rendering is done which will be just right now the rendering is done you can see the playback is just fine without any legs after that is done just press ctrl and z which is undo just undo the delete thing and there you have it the layer or the area where there is lag it is not lagging anymore because you have rendered previewed the area and because of which now your whole timeline is running or is playing with no problem or whatsoever as you can see i was only facing issue when i was having six layers but when i'm having five layers i don't have any problem as you can see i can just scrub here and there there is no problem whatsoever for you it may be two layers or for you it may be 10 layers depending on your system so there's that all right, so the render preview is done. The next thing is about storing your source file. For example, in my computer, my source file is in my hard drive, right? And my hard drive is an NVMe hard drive, as you can see right here. The C drive, I just have one drive, 500 gigabyte drive, and I just have one drive and it is an NVMe SSD. If you are editing your video off a slow HDD or slow hard drive, those mechanical spinning thingy, you can see in the screen, if you're editing your video with that, then of course you will face performance losses. So I would suggest you to edit your videos. If you if your computer has an SSD, then make sure you um, store your footage in that SSD and then edit your videos. Or if you want, you can also buy a cheap SSD, external SSD, store your um, you know footages in that SSD and then try editing. It will be much better. So make sure the place where you play, uh, store your um, you know, footages, make sure it's a fast storage device, mostly an SSD, so make sure you keep that thing in mind. All right, the next thing what you need to do for playback, um, fixing up playback is to click on the start button, go to settings, go to Windows update, and there click on advanced options. Now. Uh, go you can just see under additional options we have optional updates this features the, this option has feature quality and driver updates now if your computer needs any driver updates you will see all of it here and if you have some updates i would definitely recommend you to update those drivers because updating drivers give you tremendous performance boost while playing games as well as editing your video so make sure you do that uh, it's a really important step 
Next, what you need to do is your graphics card driver. Now, if you don't know which graphics card you're using, don't worry, just right click on your taskbar and then click on task manager. Once you go there, go to performance and there just go to your GPU zero. For you, it might be, you might have two GPUs. First is the internal GPU and the second, maybe the dedicated GPU. For me, the GPU is the AMD Radeon RX 6600. So I'll go to Google and search for the latest update for my graphics card and make sure you install it uh, for yourself as well. Maybe if you have a uh, Nvidia graphics card or Intel graphics card, just find the model and then search in Google for the latest driver and then make sure to install it so that you can get better performance out of your computer. That was a notification, just ignore. And then you have the background apps that is running in your background, which that also really slows down your PC for me. Right now I have OBS Studio recording uh, this whole screen. Uh, I have Internet Download Manager, right Vanguard, right Client, as well as Windows Security. These are the only things that are running. Check for your system if there are a lot of things that are running in the background, they will surely make your computer slow and hence uh, you know, cause your video to play back really bad while you are editing your video. And to check which all things are running, uh, again, right click on the taskbar, uh, you know, yeah, taskbar and go to task manager. And there, make sure to go to startup apps and disable all the applications that you don't need. For example, I don't need the AMD noise suppression uh, feature of my graphics card so I just disabled it to disable just right click on the application and click on disable I've already disabled so I have the option of enabling it in this way just disable the ones that you don't need and lastly uh, by doing all of these things you are still facing uh, you know performance issues in your computer then I would suggest you to upgrade your components on your computer uh, for example uh, your graphics card or maybe your RAM. For me, my computer is quite a bit fine for video editing. I have a 32 gigabytes of a RAM, which is quite fine. My processor is a i5 10 gen processor and my graphics card is a RX 6600 and it is quite fine right now. But if you can just upgrade your RAM, maybe you have eight gigabytes of RAM, then you of course need 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you have a slow SSD or slow hard drive, then upgrade it to a little faster SSD. If you have an older graphics card and try upgrading it, there are a lot of options in secondhand markets like eBay, OLX and stuff like that depends on which country you are from or and also depends on your region so make sure you upgrade it if you are a laptop user then your upgrading uh, options are very narrow you can upgrade to a faster SSD and you can upgrade to RAM both of these will help you in getting better performance uh, from your computer from your laptop as well as from Filmora you know playing back those videos and stuff it will give you better performance so these are all the a uh, few tips that I have for improving your playback in Filmora 14. If you have any questions or if you um, have any video requests, then please feel free to let me know in the comment box down below. That's pretty much it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon.